Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this lovely rose gold hair. It came out really, really good. Um, there was a few hiccups along the way, which I'm definitely going to talk about. But let's just hop right into this. Okay, so first things first is I wanted to do darker roots so i picked up this revlons um permanent hair dye and i'm basically just going to use that to darken my roots you know the beauty supply store is closed right now so i went to my local target and i got this for i think it was like two three dollars so you don't have to use the whole bottle i literally just poured a little bit out of um little developer out of it and a little bit of the color mix that up and i'm going to put it on my roots you have to be super careful doing this because you do not want to dye your lace so you need like a little gentle hand doing this and you don't need a big dyeing brush a little brush some people even use combs i opted not to use the comb this time sometimes i do use the comb but then again i don't Sometimes I, don't, I feel like I just don't need to. So basically what you're going to do is literally like with a gentle hand. As you can see, you're going to see me like constantly like switching, doing this. Like because you have to be real careful. And eventually you're going to see that it's going to get dark. It's the darkness. That's not how dark the roots are going to come out. It's way lighter than what it appears to look like. But you'll see.
Okay, so you see it starts to get darker. So you're basically going to let that sit for about like 20 minutes and then you're just going to go and wash it out. So I let that sit for 20 minutes and then I just wash it out. As you can see, it looks really dark, but trust me, it is really not that dark once you wash it out and it um, air dries. Okay, so now it's time to dye the hair the actual rose color. Um, I use Kiss um, hair dye and at first I started doing the water method, but then this, honestly, maybe because it was like a real light color, this took a lot of dye. I didn't expect it to take this much dye, but it did. Um, literally I used about like four to five bottles and yeah it just took a very long time but basically you just do it the old-fashioned way boil some hot water and um just keep dipping it in until it gets to the color the rose color that you prefer and that's basically how i did it So let's talk about the hair. Um, the bundles were really soft and the curls in the bundles were really nice. One of the bundles curls, I want to say, was a little bit not as wavy as the other um, bundles were. But that's okay because I just sewed that one on the bottom. But the frontal was shedding like there was no tomorrow. It was coming out in chunks. When I mean chunks, it was coming out in chunks. So I contacted contacted um the seller and of course you know they came they're really they responded very fast um they came up with a solution they did give me back some of my money because of that most likely i am going to have to end up changing the frontal because i feel like eventually it's just gonna be like a whole bunch of bald patches but that's okay because like i said the seller did give me back some of my money because of what happened um we came to a solution really quickly within like a couple of days so that's the good part but at the end of the day it turned out very very good i love the color um as you can see my roots are definitely not as dark as it appeared when it was being dyed um this is how it looked in natural lighting outside and it just came out really really good i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch you guys in my next one